everyone um welcome to another episode today the question that we are going to see was asked in netflix um the question is something like this so you are given a cartesian tree with sequence s which is obviously a binary tree and it has two major properties one is it is heap order that means that parent value is always less than its children and we are given a sequence s which is the in order traversal of the tree so in order traversal you guys know is like you take the left side of the tree then you take the root and then you take the right side of the tree right so we are given an example so the input that will be given to us is sequence s and we need to figure out what is the correct cartesian tree that the sequence s represents so given a tree 3 2 6 1 9 the, the final cartesian tree looks something like this now let's try to understand it in the form of diagram so let me uh, take the input as it's 3 2 6 1 and 9 okay so now let's like think about it in terms of this properties. So obviously it says one property to focus here is that each parent is strictly less than its children. And this sequence S is in order traversal, right? So in order traversal is always like left comma root comma right. So what do I mean by that is, let's say I have a tree, something like this, three, one, two. So if I need to print the in order traversal of this tree, it will be three, which is left of the tree, one root of the tree, and then two, which is right of the tree, right? So yeah, this is not related to this question, but yeah, in general terms, in order traversal is left, root, and then right, okay? So we are given this sequence S. Now what can we deduce out of it? Um, it says that it's a heap ordered thing. So parent is always gonna be less than uh, its children. So to start with, let's observe which is the smallest element we have in the sequence. We have it one. So obviously one, no doubt, is gonna be the root of the tree, right? Now, because it's in order traversal, which is left, root, and right, I can be confident about the fact that anything on right of this value is the right subtree, represents right subtree, and anything left represents the left subtree. So, obviously, my left subtree will now have 3, 2, 6, and my right, as it only has one element, I can be sure this is our element node. Now, now we come to, for, we move our focus to the left subtree. Now this is a, another sequence S dash. Consider it like this. Now we can leave this part apart because this, uh, this is our tree that we know. Now we need to figure out a tree from this sequence now, which is S dash. So now what is the smallest number here? We know that because the parent is always going to be less than its children, we can be confident that 2 is going to be root of this. Anything left of it is the left subtree, which is 3, right? And anything right of it is going to be right, 6. So finally, uh, our tree looks something like this. It's basically going to be 1, 2, 6, 3, 9, right? Now, how do we code it in terms of, uh, how do we think in terms of code? So, I'm not going to write the whole code, but let's look in terms of pseudocode. Uh, so, obviously, one part 
would be my traversal right i have to start traversal through my array my sequence s now inside this traversal what i'm going to do i'm going to iterate over this s which is iterate over s and find smallest element right and then once i have found the smallest element let's say the smallest element index is i so i'm gonna call traverse on the left of the tree because i of left is gonna be equal to from 0 to i minus 1 and then i of right is gonna be traversal of i plus 1 till uh, length of s right so this is how a pseudocode will look because i am gonna break so my array is three two six one nine right so if i do a traversal on this array uh my index i let me put index to it three four so my smallest element is at index three right so i is three so i'm gonna call the next left traversal would be from zero to two which is this half and then the next one would be from four to four in case it's just one element but yeah in general this will be how my pseudocode will look um in terms of time complexity uh because in each uh, so obviously we are gonna touch every node once for sure because we are gonna run traversal on them once it will be n and then inside each traversal we are iterating over this s which will be another o of n and we split it into you can say half like it's like divide and conquer strategy as most sort it's gonna be log of n so overall time complexity will look something like this n square log um hope you guys like this question and it was understandable um i'm gonna attach the code in the description of the video below um if you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe to my channel and like this video thanks a lot